Hey guys, and welcome to the first video of being proficient in Excel. The target audience here is for anyone who is currently using Excel at their job and wants to become faster at it and wants to use it more effectively. So I am assuming that you know how to use Excel, how to open an Excel workbook, how to copy, paste, basic things. Um, but what I'm going to show you is, is faster ways to go about it. All right. So this will be broken up into three or four different videos. The first video that we're doing right now is going to be moving around the workbook. And this is important because this is going to be the basic building uh, blocks that you're going to be using for all the other videos. So first let's talk about how to design a workbook. So you created a new Excel document. We have three tabs. So let's, uh, let's uh, actually before I start, I think um, the best way to go about this is to watch the video once and then to watch it again but then try to follow through and make the same changes I make. I'll try to go slow enough so that everyone can keep up. So <clears throat> the first sheet we'll have will be um, output, the second sheet we'll have will be called analysis, and the third sheet we'll have is called data. To switch between tabs you can press control page up and control page down. Let me uh, zoom all these into 180 so it'll be a lot more clear. So we can page up and page down. And please work through this with me because later on we'll use the same data we create now in the further videos. So please move to the data tab. And um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some fake data. And while we create this fake data, we're going to learn how to move through the workbook. So first what I'd like you to do is, is make uh, in the first column 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I want you to highlight all of them by holding shift and pressing down. And then grab the bottom corner and this will fill down for you. So click it and hold it and drag down to 100. Let's go to 100. Okay. So now we're at row 100. So to get back to the top, hold control and press up. That allows you to jump to the top of a row or a column. Um, so control down goes down, control up goes up, and as you can imagine, control right goes all the way to the right, and control left goes all the way to the left. So you'll keep moving until you hit a place where there's a value. So if we put a value right here, when we hit control left, we go to A. When we hit control right, we go to L. However, in row 2, there's no value there, so when we hit go right, we go all the way to the right. So just something to keep in mind when you're going through your workbook. All right. So the second column I want to make uh, will just be, let's say, colors. So let's make up some colors. Red, blue, green, yellow, purple. And this time, we're going to be copy-pasting. So go to the top of the workbook with Control up. And now I want you to highlight and copy cells B1 to B5. So you're going to control shift down and now you have them all highlighted and you're going to control C to copy and now you're going to try to paste them. So to fill down all of the, the column B what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left to column A, control down to the bottom, move over one and then control shift up to the top. So now we have everything highlighted. So you can see I'll actually move up a little bit. We have red, blue, green, yellow, purple, and now this is all the space in between. So when I scroll down, you can see this is all the highlighted space. So just press Control V. So we just copy copied that pattern all the way down. <clears throat> the next one we'll do, we'll, we'll make with a formula. I think that'll be better. So let's do a cost. Let's put in ten, ten dollars first, and I want the every cell to increment by two. So let's do this cell equals the cell above it plus 2. That's it. Now I want you to copy down this formula and only copy the formula. So to do that, we highlight the cell, we copy it. Let's do the trick we just learned. To, so go to the column before it, control down, go to the right, control shift up. And to copy the f and paste the formula, we're going to paste special. So the hotkey for that is Alt E S. And you see here we have paste special. Normally when you press control V, it'll do all, which will include formulas, values, formants, comments, and conditional formatting. 
So right now we just want the formulas, which is F. So why don't we press F instead of clicking? We're going to try not to click too much. Press Enter. So now, as you can see, all of these are the formula. To edit a formula or a cell, you can press F2. So that's a quick way to edit it. So if you want to see where your cell is referencing, we can see it's always referencing the cell above it. All right, great. Let's go to the top of the workbook. Let's make uh, one more column. We'll do like a size. Let's do sizes A and B. Let's try A and B. So A and B. All right. So let's copy paste these down. So the same trick. Copy, control down, go right, control shift up. Now we don't want to get this last cell, so let's go down to uh, row three. And let's let's this time copy the values. So Alt E S V for values. <clears throat> now since this is a value, you could have done formulas, you could have just pasted all of it and that would have been fine as well. But I just wanted to go over how to copy paste values. To get out of a selection, press escape. So you can see we were highlighted there. So now we have our data, so let's give it some headers. So we want to insert a row. The hotkey for that is Alt I R. And you can remember that by Alt Insert Row. Alt I R. Similarly, inserting a column is Alt I C. Alt Insert Column. Very, very, very frequently you'll be inserting rows and columns and you'll insert one too many and you want to delete them. So to do that, we're going to need to highlight the whole row or the whole column. So to highlight the whole row, oh, <laughs> to highlight the whole row, it's Shift Space. So Shift Space highlights the whole row. And to get rid of it, it's Control Minus. And Minus is next to the zero. It's gone. To get rid of the whole column, it's Control Space. Similarly, you can do Control Minus to get rid of it. So let's go back and add a row, Alt I R, and let's give these headers. So let's call this the count, color, cost, and size. So now we have four sets of data. Um, and let's one more time go over how to move around this data. So control down and control up will get you from the top and the bottom. Control right and control left will go left and right. All right. So highlighting is, of course, shift. So control shift down, control shift up. If you want to highlight data. We went over copy pasting and inserting and deleting rows. The next thing I want to cover quickly is uh, filtering. So to set up a filter, it's Alt I, Alt A T, Alt A T. So now we have filters. And to use the filter, you're going to hit hold Alt, or you can actually just press Alt but I like to hold it. Hold Alt and press down. So now you can see in this column we have A and B in size, and that's correct. We can go to the left to color, Alt down. We have blue, green, purple, red, yellow. And Escape will get you out of this. <clears throat> so this is important because a lot of times you're going to be moving through your workbook very quickly and you want to see, oh, what, what are the sizes? So to get rid of the filters, Alt to AT, and to put it back, it's Alt AT. Same thing. So if you want to quickly look, oh, what sizes do I have? You can hold Alt down and say, oh, just A and B. The color, I have five colors. And the count, I have a lot of, you know, account and cost, I have a lot. But this will just give you a little insight into the data that you're using. Then let's try to filter. So let's just see the red. So go to color, Alt down. And you're going to press down all the way till we get to select all. And you're going to press space bar. That unselects everything and go to red, press spacebar, now press enter. So now we're looking at just the red. And this is very important because very often you want to filter on something. So let's say you wanted all the red and all the size A. So let's go to size A, alt down, just press down until you get to select all, unselect everything, go to A, select it with spacebar and press enter. So these are all the red size A things that we have and this is the cost of them. So a trick you'll need to know and I'm just going to bring it up now and it will come up many times is copy pasting when you have things filtered. For example, if you wanted to copy paste all of this, let's try it. Let's control shift down, control shift right. Now we have everything and let's copy control C. Let's move to our analysis tab, control page up, and let's copy just the values. That's Alt ESV. Alt ESV. So, as you can see, let's go back to the data tab, page down, control page down. We copied exactly what we had. 
All right, let's press escape to unselect it. So you can copy when things are filtered perfectly. The issue comes in when you want to paste something where it's filtered. So for example, if you were to go here and paste some values, let me give you an example. So let's make another color. Um, I don't know, what, what color do we have? Orange? All right, so let's copy this and make a few orange. Okay, so let's say we decided, hey, we have all this orange, and we want to, we want to change the color from red to orange. So you do control V, paste it in here. What happened? Well, what actually happened was if we unfilter, which is Alt DFS, Alt DFS, you'll see that we actually copied straight down from the first cell we were in. We didn't copy over the filtered cells. So you can't copy and paste when it's filtered. So let's Control Z to undo that and Control Z to undo it again. So I just wanted to bring that up because uh, very often that happens to people and it will just save you a lot of time. All right, so let's unfilter Alt DFS. And let's just spend a little bit of time and review the stuff that we went over because this is very important for the next steps. From now on, I'm going to assume that you have the basic knowledge to move around the workbook, filter, copy-paste values, copy-paste formulas, and know when to use copy-paste for values and formulas, how to insert rows, how to delete rows, and how to set up your workbook. So the reason this is so important is because when we're l using things such as formulas and pulling data and making the data look nice, we can't spend time and continually say, how do I paste formulas? How do I paste values? So it's great to get this stuff out of the way. So I'll just recap it one more time. We set up the workbook into three tabs, output analysis data, outputs what you'll be showing people, analysis is where you do your calculations, and data is where you put the raw data. So this is not a perfect example because I didn't copy paste someone's data in here. Usually you want to have data from whoever gave it to you or whether you generated it or not here, and you don't want to touch it. The reason being, if there's ever a mistake in the workbook, you can always go back to this tab and say, hey, look, this is the original data I have. Did I make a mistake somewhere? We then learned how to insert rows with Alt-IR, and we also learned how to delete them by doing Shift-Space to highlight the row and Control-Minus to delete it. We learned how to insert a column, Alt-IC, and how to highlight that with Control-Space and Control-Minus to delete it. We learned how to apply a filter and remove a filter by doing Alt-AT, Alt-AT. We learned how to filter by holding Alt and pressing down, highlighting which we wanted to highlight, and then to remove, remove the filter's selection, it's Alt-DFS. The final thing I'll show you, um, oh, let's go over the copy-paste thing also one more time, because it's very important. So to copy something, you can Control-Shift-Down, Control-Shift-Right, now we have everything. We can copy a value, by doing Alt E S V, we can copy a formula by doing Alt E S F. And let's do one more. So a little bit of formatting tricks. Highlight everything, and Alt O C A, O C A, will make the column widths the ma the size of the maximum value you have in there. So this will just keep your data nice and concise. So I hope this was helpful. Please go through this video at least once or twice. So you have the basic building blocks for the next videos. For the next videos, we'll, we'll cover if statements. We'll cover um, match and index statements, which we'll be replacing our VLOOKUP statements. And we'll be doing sum if statements and count if statements. So that's all the analysis stuff. So just make sure you have a good grasp on how to check your data. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.